basically this committee did your job and it ended up on somebody's hands. Well, I think it was, it was just a review by, committee. We, but we established the RFP and then there was a separate evaluation committee, which was a separation of duties. I mean, and how long did it take? Um, but guys, and, and again, I'll, I'll take full responsibility. I was not going to bring this before the, the outgoing city council, right in the middle of a heated election, have this thing become highly political, and certainly not going to strap the incoming police chief with, with somebody else's vision. So um, that, I, I agree, it was far too long. But there was an extension put in place, so we felt that with the extension that was that was afforded, we would take our time and do it right. Right. And I'll also mention too, um, and I sent a memo about this, uh, you know, almost two years ago, uh, about the RFP proposal that the committee put together was different from what actually ultimately went out by the administration. So, and I, you know, pointed that out. We don't have to rehash it again here, but. Exactly, it, what the committee came up with was not did not mirror exactly what went out in the administration. So I just want to make that clear as well. That is correct. There were some changes, but, so. but I think the vast majority of the integrity was there. But there were some changes. Absolutely. Yeah, I have one last question. Yes, Councilor um, Cross. To the chief on this uh, pricing sheet, do you feel confident that this covers every possible? Because I know you mentioned there that some you see invoices with charges on there that you know I'm. I'm going to assume, I know, I think I know what a couple of them are, but they're not listed here, so, Correct. like, gate opening. So, so, no, no, actually, <laughs> actually that, that really wasn't one of the ones. There was, there was, there was a couple of other incidents where there were other, other things. things. Uh, so th there may be times um, that, that the police department has to authorize something unusual. Um, like there were there were charges on an invoice, and I, again, I don't want to get in. If you want to right. talk privately, I'll show you. Yeah, I don't want to do it saying, tonight. Is but there are things that could not be. You there know, was where, not, that where traffic control was, was was serviced, and there's nothing in here for traffic control, but there was a bill generated for traffic control. Now that may be a reasonable uh, item. I don't know under the circumstances. So there will be times, and again, that the police chief will have to approve anything like that. There is, Councilwoman, there, there is a charge that I don't see on there. Um, it's a state mandated fee. If you have a vehicle that's either towed as an abandoned, right. or switched over from an impound to an yeah. abandoned, the state mandates a fee. They're getting that money. Right. Um, and we can't do anything about that because they generate this goofy form card called a TR-52. That's above and beyond. Um, I didn't notice that on there, but um, you know, again, I'd be remiss to say that um, because we, be really disingenuous if I do not tell you that we did contact these other agencies that were comparables and they are out for RFPs. They are. They're looking at some of them a little bit older, so I'm sure the pricing can be maybe adjusted a little bit, but we do have to get it in line. Sure. And, and you know, over the next um, couple weeks, I'm going to ask that, of course, the chief, I know that you've done the research on a lot of, you know, the prices and everything. If we can actually get some up to date numbers from neighboring communities and if we can take a look at those. Um, I certainly appreciate that. I can, I can provide you with the original contracts that we have. I mean, I know the chief included the summary sheets, but um, you know, just just what uh, what we used when we established the baseline um, uh, uh, numbers. And I also, I mean, I'd like to see like uh, newer data. And if they're available, yeah, if they're certainly. available, I'd like to see exactly you know recent ones, especially if there's RFPs that went out since these original numbers. I'd like to see those new ones. I think you have one of the, did we get a copy of the latest RFP for one of the communities? We have the latest ones that are currently in effect, but each one of those communities is currently out for RFPs. Okay. Each one of them. So, okay. okay. Also, I would, um, myself, I'm not sure if anybody else, I'd like to actually visit each of these sites over the next couple of weeks as well. So if we can, we can get those together as well. Okay, thank you. Alright. So any other discussion on this topic? All right, we'll move on to item 18. The motion to approve proposal from AKT Peerless to perform site investigation for confirmed <coughs> release of underground storage tanks removed at fire station number two. Cost for remediation is $27,250 plus 10% contingency. Funds will be provided by motor vehicle pool. Um, item 18, uh, Mr. Bach. Uh, yes, this is, uh, we have we pulled the tanks at both fire stations and uh, there are two per, there are per release at each station, so this is the cost to do the site investigation and see the extent of the uh, contamination. For that, and I'd like to make a correction on this. If it says the cost for remediation. That would be the cost for site investigation. The remediation will come after the site investigation. That would be a separate cost. 
just to determine how much remediation will be needed, if any. And, and just to, on, a, on another note, um, I talked to AKT Peerless today about the city hall site, and there's a minimum of contamination, uh, and we're going to be getting the report within the next week, so that, that's good news. <coughs> I think they ran into some structural issues of the uh, on the footing. It has, I don't know how you, it has a trench footing. They wanted the, the building was not designed for two stories. They had an engineer come in, and the footings are not designed for two stories. They want to put a second story uh, okay. inside the building, and the footings wouldn't support it. Okay. The persisting footings. So they, they would have they're looking at like underpinning and, and different processes. Okay, is there anything else for 18? Um, oh, I have one question actually. Um, how much has the city, I know that since we've been taking out these tanks, how much has the city paid um, so far? And I know that there's been some site. You know, I couldn't the tell. I don't have that information. Okay. I mean, I can provide it uh, tomorrow if you'd like. Sure. If you can. And I know that we started some of the reimbursement process also. Okay. Yeah, if you can give me that number, I appreciate that. Okay. All right, anything else 18? All right, 19 is a motion to approve. A uh, proposal from AKC Peerless to perform site investigation for confirmed release uh, underground storage tanks removed as fire station number three. So it's the same thing except for a different fire station. Is that anything for 19? That is correct. Okay. All right, excellent. So and uh, just to let you know, we're going to be coming forward for the DPW uh, tank removal um, probably in the next month. Okay, excellent. All right. And that's it. There's no more. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll be it. That's good news. Item 20 is a motion to approve amending the 2017 summer and winter special assessment rule by removing $517 in special assessment charges from the winter special assessment rule and $222 from the summer special assessment rule for the attached documents. Um, is that Mr. Markey? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, this particular house on uh, Marvin was owned by the Wayne County Treasurer and therefore was, should have been tax exempt. For 2017, which is why we are bringing it forward to remove the uh, ordinance charges that basically the county is not going to pay. Okay. Are there any questions for Mr. Marquis on 20? All right. All right. Item number 21 is a motion to approve amending the 2017 winter special assessment rule by removing $395 in service fee charges for property located at 6442 Buck per the attached documents, Mr. Marquis. Thank you, Chairman. Um, working and work with Jason on this one also. This is a. It was a police call for a emergency board up uh, issue. That um, we would like to either have council recommend postponing or, or send to the department head to actually review and get back to council to say should they pay it or dismiss it. Okay, sorry, but, Mr. Chair, if I may. Uh, yeah, this strike. Yeah. Sorry, because you know, we, we did have a discussion. Actually, I would recommend removing this item because this item, there was a little miscommunication. This item wasn't wasn't on the winter assessment roll. This was actually an invoice that was generated in December. Uh, so it's not a part of the tax roll. So it should actually be removed because it's not a part of the tax roll. Um, any potential request for uh, reduction or rebate before it goes to the taxes is actually handled at the department level. We have a internal forms and procedures and things like that. Um, and then if they do have to go to the taxes, then we would need council approval to remove them from the taxes. So uh, my recommendation would just be to remove this all together, number 21. Okay, that's fine. 